In this video, I want to talk about dealing with processing errors in relativity. Processing errors will happen regardless of what kind of processing system you're using. It is how you can act on those errors is what separates a good processing system from the bad. Are you able to see all the errors? Are you able to act uh, properly on the error? Are you able to retry and fix your problems? That's what's, that's what's important. In this video, we're just talking about errors because I cannot run a test project and re reproduce all the possible errors. What I did is I broke down errors into the categories they could be in, and I'm going to put error descriptions on the screen so you could see what they read. And I also put them into different categories, whether they're critical errors or safe to ignore. Of course, you should develop your own internal process uh, in dealing with errors. You should document everything to make sure all the team members are in sync and everyone handles errors properly. So let's start. First, when you start processing, you may get errors as documents get into processing environment. Uh, and I would call those critical processing errors. The errors may read something like unable to extract email from mail store or error occurred when attempting to re-import file, copy uh, source file, open email store or retrieve entry from email store. So these are the errors um, that you should stop and figure out what's going on. You should not just skip or ignore them. Usually when you get a message unable to extract email from a store, indicates that you have a corrupt PST file. Now, Relativity doesn't read PST files just like other applications. It doesn't do it like Outlook does. Uh, Relativity wrote their own algorithm that goes into a PST and rips it apart. That's what allows it to be so fast and efficient at reading PSTs. However, it also makes it a little bit, um, I would say, more sensitive than normal to minor inconsistencies inside a PST file. So because of that, you may get uh, errors such as unable to extract email from a store or um, wrong page ID. Uh, what you should do in that case, you should uh, attempt to get a replacement PST file. Sometimes it helps just to open the PST file in Outlook and then close it and then try it again. You can also open the PST file in Outlook and then copy and override the internal version that exists inside the relativity. And inside the error message, there will be a path specified that points to your file server. Now the error attempting to re-import file or copy source file may indicate that you have run out of space on your destination folder. Uh, and if it says the file is excluded from directory, whoa, that's a big warning. You should definitely um, stop and figure out what happened. You may need to uh, put this file into a new processing set um, or um, attempt a repair and you should only do a repair on the PST if it is okay with your client. You shouldn't just repair a PST without telling anyone. Um, we'll, we'll get into that topic on a separate video. Um, so, that's, so that's the first step. This is where you get your critical processing errors. Stop. Um, fix your PST files, figure out what happened, don't simply skip over them. Next we get into a category of sort of general uh, errors that you get when processing. Uh, no matter what people tell you about how oh, relativity process, no errors, no, that doesn't happen. Uh, you will get errors and these are the most common errors you'll get. So first one, system out of memory was thrown, um, just retry it it should go away, um, error attempting to open an email file. So this one comes up often and you do just need to retry. And what's been happening is, let's say we get a thousand of these, run a retry, you get, then you get 750, you retry again, you get 500, and it keeps shrinking down with each time you rerun. What I noticed that helps a lot to resolve that error is restarting um, a worker service on your processing station. So what you do is you remote into the station, you would kill your launcher process and the worker process, and then you would restart your launcher process after you know, 30 seconds or so. And once you do that on all the processing workers, that should clear out that error. Next, uh, not enough storage available to process command. Again, fairly standard, just retry it and it should go away. Could not allocate memory data segments, same, same kind of deal, retry, attempt to read write protected memory, 
uh, and some error during extraction of email. So those all, you just got to retry them multiple times and they should go away. Uh, the last error, there was some uh, adding recipient to a message store possibly corrupt. This may happen with a bad PST. Sometimes it goes away with retrying, sometimes it does not. Uh, so you would have to see um, what's going on in your situation. Next, we have uh, normal processing errors that aren't sort of an errors, they're more like, they're just letting you know what's happening. So for example, error opening a PDF or a zip file. Well, if documents password protected, of course, the system will not be able to get uh, metadata or extracted data from it. So it's just letting you know, hey, if you have a password, you need to put it in the password bank and retry. If you don't, just move on. Uh, same deal if you get an error opening PowerPoint or a zip file or PDF. Uh, it may be a corrupt file, so you can go to error message and you can do some checking. Uh, different companies will have different procedures on as to how they check these errors. Some will do each one. They will try to open each file that's reported as corrupt. Some will do certain percentage. Some will do by file type. Uh, that would be up to you to figure out how you want to um, how you want to how far you want to go in QC in this. Uh, but I found that these errors uh, are generally pretty accurate, and I almost never have a case where it says um, you know PDF file is bad and it's actually good. You know it's it pretty much always is a bad PDF file. Lastly, we get into publishing errors. So these errors happen when you're trying to push data into the workspace. Uh, most common error you can get is input length exceed maximum set of characters for a certain field. Uh, and that's kind of what it is. You have a field that's set up, in our case it's a message ID, and it's set up for 255 characters and in your source data it may be a thousand characters and you're trying to publish it and of course it's going to reject it. A um, couple of reasons for that. Um, usually you will get Word documents or PDF file where author name is like extremely long, maybe a, like a first paragraph of a Word document or something like that. And what you just have to do is increase uh, character limit in your workspace to allow data to go in and then you retry that error and it should be fine. The second reason why you may get this error is if you process uh, some kind of file and it's kind of a corrupt file but Relativity doesn't necessarily pick it up as a corrupt file. So you get a metadata field like a message ID which contains a bunch of garbage characters. And so when you're trying to publish it, it may have, you know, 5,000 garbage characters. So, so what you want to do is go into fields and unmap a field. In um, field properties, there is a property called source where it says which uh, processing field the data is coming from. So you clear that out, save field list, or save the field, retry publishing so the document gets published, and then go back to fields and remap that field back. So the next time someone else publishes, that data actually gets published in the workspace. So those are two reasons for uh, the length uh, exceeded error. Next error is uh, SQL statement failed. Uh, this I've seen uh, happens when a workspace is under a lot of use uh, or you're publishing a lot of data, like very long two and CCs, and SQL Server just times out. So what the workaround is, there is an um, environment setting that you can change to reduce number of documents that get, pu get published at once. So as opposed to pushing uh, 500 documents or 1,000 documents at a time, you can make it do 500 or 200 documents at a time. So you can play with that setting. That should be in your environment variables uh, in relativity. Next error we have is metadata from duplicate documents could not be overlaid because their master documents were not yet published. So this happens for a couple of reasons. One, it, kind, it is what it says. So you may have an error, like a first error here, and you've published your documents, and then the second error shows up, metadata could not be overlaid. Well, the way publishing works is first documents, documents get published, and then duplicate information gets updated. So duplicate custodian, duplicate path get overlaid onto existing documents. So if your original document failed to publish, 
when the publishing process finishes, it tries to update duplicate custodian and it's not able to because your original document failed. So you need to go back and fix your first error and then retry your second error and everything will be fine. Second reason why this may happen is if you had deleted documents from a workspace. All right, so Relativity will still look for that document that you have deleted and will try to update duplicate information on it, even though it's gone. Um, the document is still tracked in the processing side of things. Uh, so unfortunately, it's a, it's a major flaw with Relativity of just how it works. And it's going to attempt to find that deleted document and it will give you an error. And in that case, there's nothing you can do because you already deleted that document and it's not able to update it. Well, nothing else to do. You just move on. The one thing you want to do is confirm that that's the case, that that document has been deleted and it was deleted, of course, intentionally. And the last error we're coming to an object field reference, a child object which does not exist. This is the biggest pain in the butt of all the errors in relativity. The simpler way to explain this error is Relativity has two error tables. One error table on invariant side and the other error table on the actual Relativity workspace side. And when you publish, if these two error tables are not in, in sync, Relativity will skip publishing a document and will give you that error message. To fix this, Relativity has a, a very, very long process there about eight to 12 different SQL queries you need to run in order to resolve it. And it only resolves it in about 75% of the time. Um, the best suggestion I can make is if you get this error and you're not comfortable with SQL, just get somebody from support on the phone and have them fix it for you. So don't ignore this error. This, one me this error means that something wasn't published and you should definitely resolve it. And once you finish, fixing all your publishing errors, you want to make sure your unpublished file count is zero. If you have any documents that are unpublished, you definitely a red flag and you should figure out why some documents are not publishing. All right, I hope this helps you get started with dealing with relativity processing errors. This is a very complicated topic and it takes a long time to learn what the errors are and what are the best ways of fixing them. And I hope this video gave you a bit of a head start in dealing with that. I hope you got some useful information from this video. If you did, please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out my website, hashtag legal.com, which has lots of valuable tools I create for relativity as well as law. Feel free to share this video with your coworkers if you feel they can benefit from information provided. Subscribe to stay up to date with videos as they're being released. Click bell to be notified as soon as videos come out. And don't be afraid to suggest ideas for other videos in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.